Hello guys, um, another update today. Uh, today is May 9th, um, day like 45 I think, or 44, I can't remember. Uh, sorry if I'm talking funny, I just got braces today. You wanna see them? Right here, yeah. Oh yeah, look at those braces, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Alright, but enough of that. Um, two new additions. I went to the fish store and got some zoanthids right here. Looks nice. It's got probably over a hundred polyps. I really like the color. Um, and then this plate coral here. I'm not exactly sure of the correct name for it other than plate coral. Um, it's like a pinkish color, hot pink right here. Um, all the little tentacles are out, so I mean it looks looks healthy and it looks like they've acclimated to the water. I used the drip acclimation method, and so those look pretty healthy. Almost all of the polyps are out, and then you can see it's it's really more pink here and on the edge than in the middle around here. Um, I'm hoping the color spreads and all. And then I put my star polyps up here. They've closed up because they need to adjust to the light because um, they're higher up and it's more lighting. And then my zoanthids that I had over here, they're doing pretty good, healthy. Although these look much better <laughs> than those just because there's a lot more. And um, I just ordered um, some stuff off of Marine Depot. I ordered a fan to replace this thing that I just propped up. Um, I think it has four fans on it, so I'm gonna place it right here and it's gonna blow across the top of the water. And then I brought, bought a algae scraper and I bought um, some more salt mix. And um, let me check on this. RODI thing. Alright. I just have to turn that on and make some more water. Alright. So I bought salt mix and that stuff, and I think I bought something else, but. Oh well. I was gonna order some sand for the refugium, but uh, the place I was gonna order it from was out of stock. Um. So my refugium down there will have to wait, but no big deal. And um, I've been noticing a lot of detritus back in here. I think I might have mentioned this on my other video. And over here, but what I didn't mention was what looks like some cyanobacteria right here. And I think I have some on the other side. On this rock here. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Cause after all this is a new tank. Um, and I haven't done very many water changes to it, but um, I think uh, the, my nutrients is coming from this bottom thing down here because I just threw a bunch of live rock in there in the sand and it's just become a detritus trap but I'm gonna replace that with the new something in Fugium so I'm not too worried about that but about all this detritus on the sand bed um oh does anyone have any other ways to remove it other than siphoning it out which I'll probably end up doing but um I know my sand bed is not fully mature yet, so it's not going to eat up all that shit yet. Um, but I was wondering if you guys thought maybe more um, Nasaria snails would help. Um, take that away, and or if there's anything else I can do to it. Um, so yeah, let me just give you guys a closer look at these corals here. Zoanthids, 
and the plate coral. I really like how the tentacles like come out like that. I really like this hot pink color right there. It looks really nice. I hope the camera captures the color. Those are my two new additions to the tank. And of course, my clownfish and my uh, bicolor blenny is doing good. I said I would do a, uh, said I would show the blenny in the next video, but it doesn't look like he's out right now. Um, maybe we'll just wait a little while and see if he comes out. Oh, there he is back there. Yeah, see, there he is. Oh, he went back in his hole. Oh, well, you'll get to see him. Don't worry. Any minute now. Oh well, while we're waiting for my plenty, um, I was going to say that I haven't actually used any of this supplements yet um, because I haven't had many corals, just the star polyps and the little zoanthids. Um, so they're not going to... Oh, here we go. And he's gone again. Why do you keep doing that, little fish? Alright, well he keeps disappearing, but... So I don't really need to dose just because of those small corals, but um, maybe now that I have uh, th these corals I added, um, uh, maybe I'll need to dose something uh, in a while. I don't know how much I'll have to dose, but I'll figure that out. And uh, you know that chart I made um, for keeping track of all that shit? Yeah, I kind of stopped that um, on the 21st of, uh, April, uh, because it's just so tedious, and really, I only need to be checking calcium and alkalinity and pH and salinity, and, because, like, my nitrates, nitrates, and ammonia, I know they're pretty good, because or else I would see the tank overrun with algae and I already had an algae problem and now it's going away. And you can see here, very little algae has started to grow back. Um, and like I said, that's a result of all the nutrients from that shit down there to try to strap and stuff. And I only have two fish in there and there's no really no point in um, testing my aquarium if I basically know what's happening to it. I mean, maybe once a month I'll test it just to make sure I'm on track. But other than that, uh, I don't see a point in testing. And uh, I have a, I have the pH probe, which is reading 8.04. It ranges from about 7.75 7 to 8.04. Um, doesn't really uh, go higher than like 8.1. Um, but yeah, everything's doing fine, so I'm not too worried about that. I know a lot of people say it should be in between 8.1 and 8.3, but you know what, who cares? As long as my tank's doing fine, then I'm happy. And uh, it looks like this plenty does not want to come out and say hi. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went.
All right, I'll just have to make a separate video showing my Glenny. But uh, thanks for watching.